If you ask me what trouble really is, I can neither explain nor describe it until you feel it. Are you ready to feel along? What you're waiting for? Let's go. Hello and good morning from Darjeeling. This is my day to vlog from the top of the Tiger Hill. And here are the crowds for witnessing the sunrise and the snow cap in Junga. And, <laughs> and here are my lovely friends in the freezing and chilly weather. The dawn unfolds and the crowd here are so excited for the sunrise and the first rays delicately kisses the snow-capped majestic Kongjinjunga. And the number two of her list was to visit this monastery which is called something chilling gamba or popularly known as the kum monastery which is 30 minutes drive from darjeeling town something chilling monastery also known as kum monastery was established in 1850 by lama sharap chatsu and is one of the oldest tibetan buddhist monasteries in the region the monastery houses a 15 foot high statue of Maitreya Buddha. And now we are heading to Rock Garden which was number three in the list. This garden, as you can see, is also called the Rock Garden or the Barboti Rock Garden. It's a beautiful terraced garden featuring waterfall, bridges and the rock formation. And this garden was created by Gorka Hill Council Tourism Department and it's a lovely place to enjoy a nature. Life can be hustled sometimes, but life is too short to be unhappy. And it's very important to savor the small joys, whether it's sunset, a good love with your friends, or just a simple moment of silence. And now the time is taking for the most exciting and nail biting moment, and that is uh, Rope or the cable car. Guys, how's the Josh? How's the Josh?
Oh my god, you can see the crowd and after waiting for around 2 hours, here comes out done. And now here is a glimpse of Asijos school where some scenes of movie Yarian were shot. And here we are again at our next destination which is Happy Valley Tea Garden and where you get to experience a Nepali costumes and we even shot some few reels. And guess where? We are here at our second last destination of the day and it's Padmajanairu Himalayan Zoological Park. And the entry fee for the Indian and South Nationals are charged rupees 110. The zoo covers 67.56 acres of the area and the zoo was opened in 1958 and an average elevation of 2134 meters above sea level. This zoo is dedicated to conservation of wildlife. It started to work on captive breeding project of this rare species in 1983 and was even selected as an ideal site for captive breeding project. This zoo can provide you with wide varieties of endangered species, birds, fishes and butterflies.
This museum, as you can see, is called the Everest Museum, which traces the history of attempts to climb the Everest. It houses various mountaineering equipment, which were used by the famous mountaineers to successfully climb the Mount Everest. This place is full of photographs and memorabilia of all those people who climbed these mighty mountains. Sadly, we were prohibited to film inside. And finally, here comes the final destination of the day 2 and it's Pispa Goda, literally meaning the temple, which was built for the world peace under the guidance of Nichidatsu Fuji, a Buddhist monk from Japan. It houses the four avatars of the Buddha, including Maitreya Buddha. The height of the pagoda is 94 feet and the diameter of 75 feet. And here comes the end of the day too and we were a bit tired as well. And yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until then, see you next time and goodbye.